I'm here with Dave from Dumb Cannabis. And we're going to talk about lollipopping and why to lollipop. Dave, show us first and foremost what lollipopping is and why a grower should do it. For sure, bud. Usually lollipop is all this lower growth. What it does is it ends up taking a ton of energy away from the plant. Basically, how far away the light is and your light penetration on your canopy is obviously going to determine the quality of your bud. So by leaving all this lower stuff on, the plant is spending so much energy and so much time trying to keep all this alive when it's typically in the black and the dark zone. Yeah. Another reason too, you know, we were talking about bugs and pests and everything like that. This is basically a super highway right here. You know, anytime leaf touches the medium, uh, anytime you've got lower growth that touches together with other plants, it's basically a network that the plants can use to work through. So what we do is we clean all this out to where basically our best quality of our weed is gonna come from is the top half of the plant, you know, the first 18 to 20 inches of the plant. Yep. The rest of it just doesn't cut the mustard for us, mm -hmm. so we, uh, we get rid of it. Beautiful. Mainly getting rid of any of this lower stuff here, any leaf that's touching the medium. A lot of this will be, let me spin this so you can see these lower branches. There's just not a chance that's ever gonna do anything, right? Yeah. You know as well as I do. So yeah. you might end up with some larfy popcorn. Right, if you're lucky, even at that, right? So, you know, I typically I'll spin the plant. Anything that's below that certain special line, 18 to 20 inches, just comes right off the plant. Yeah. Some of the bigger fan leaf too, that's inside that grows back in towards the plant, that yeah. clogs up the plant, eliminates like light and airflow getting in there. And yeah. you know as well as I do, that just creates problem. Totally. One of the things that uh, Dave did before uh, off camera was. He also cleaned and sterilized the scissors between each plant, which is really also very important to make sure that if another plant had a virus, you're not passing it on to this plant. Absolutely. So Sterilization is key, and that's the same when we're cutting our clones in between cuts and we're changing up between mums. So we definitely mm -hmm. change blades as well. Yeah. Super important right there. Super small, very important techniques to guarantee the best overall yield. Absolutely. If it's not going to be uh, quality cannabis, we don't want it in the facility, so. Yeah, yeah. that's the way it's absolutely. done at Dunn Cannabis. Absolutely, you know it, bud. So typically you see there, we've got all the bottoms cleaned out. Yeah. From there we can open it up and look inside the middles and see, sometimes you'll find a little bit like these little lollipops in here. Those aren't ever gonna do anything either, so it's good to open her up, have a good look. Yeah. Pull all that out. We've it also ensures more airflow through the canopy. 100%, and you gotta have it when you're dealing with a sea of green. Uh, light and airflow is everything, 100%. So yeah. when you're trying to maintain a, uh, a VPD in the room or an environment, you've got your one environment here, yeah. and then you have a whole nother ball game down here. And this is super important that we get airflow down here, and you do get light through to what you're gonna keep, right? For so sure. typically right there is a, a solid lollipop right from the bottom to the top. Perfect. Everything else that's left on the plant, I'm quite confident that we can get enough light in there enough airflow that it'll turn out to be some quality cannabis.